Welcome back to Sketchy Watercolor Artist. I took a two week, about a two week break before finishing this painting and getting it all said and done. We got chickens as a family, wanted them for a long time, make your own eggs, all that kind of cool stuff. So I spent the last two weeks building a chicken coop. And it was bucket loads of fun, but I didn't have a lot of energy left over for painting, so didn't post any videos, but now that's done, I can get back to this. Oh, another short thing before I get into the painting of this one, my glasses broke right in the middle, and I can't even like duct tape them back together like Harry Potter. Uh, so I'm wearing prescription sunglasses for at least another week or two. But this this is my first painting done in my studio. So the lights are bright. I can I can somewhat see, but my glasses are like a brown tint, right? So everything has an orange hue. And I was curious to see like Maybe there's something in that that will help the painting process. Like, maybe it'll help me see values better. Maybe it'll create some sort of interesting artifact in the painting itself. You can, you can be the judge. Anyway, I was shooting for a likeness here. I was shooting for simple and, if not expressive, kind of just loose going for... A style that I like to see in other other people's work and try and achieve that myself. <clears throat> now, I will start by saying I, I have had a critic on this painting. Maybe they'll watch this video and recognize that. However, I don't mind it. I'm not saying it's perfect. This is my process and this is just a sketchbook. I want to share something with other people that I find interesting myself when I see it in other people's work. I love watching other artists paint and tell me what's in their brain when they're going through the process because I love painting. I love trying to capture things that I see on paper, in paint. The values, the lighting, the the subject's brush strokes, the, the feeling of brush on paper is awesome. Just like the feeling of a pen on paper. So tactile. I love it. Anyway, my point is don't let people stop you from finding your artistic expression. I'm not even saying like everything is good. Like you should definitely recognize there are bad paintings, but you know what? You don't have to show everything to everybody. If your goal is to get awesome, find the help you need to get awesome, and then show that. But still keep a book for yourself. Every I think every artist should have like a sketchbook, a personal sketchbook that you don't have to worry about showing to anybody. Then you can truly be completely free in yourself to pursue a particular line of thought or talent, you know? Without worrying about that judgment, if, if you're that type of person who worries about that judgment. And, and I'm going to be honest, I, I definitely am. But I've made several videos now, so I'm getting more keen on the idea that there's some people that are just going to say dumb crap. And sometimes that dumb crap might be true, and you definitely have to learn to accept that, but... Other times people are just dumb and they don't understand. Or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. You don't have to read comments or anything like that. Anyhow. <clears throat> I've sort of developed an approach to... Uh, this is gouache, by the way. I actually started it in the very beginning with just a plain watercolor wash. Over the top of that, I started using gouache and increasingly made the layers of gouache more and more opaque. I knew kind of where I wanted to go. I planned some of this, you know. I knew kind of what I wanted to do with the background in terms of the original photo. 
I wanted to kind of blur it out and make it background, but still vibrant and somewhat harmonious with the portrait. Um, definitely, definitely the sunglasses kind of made him look orange. I'm not going to lie. I tried to correct that in paintings following. I kind of thought sunglasses might help a little bit because values is something that I uh, struggle to find a way to make look more natural. But I'm getting there. Uh, the likeness, it's not perfect, but one of my favorite artists, James Gurney, always talks about the process of a particular painting, any painting, being a process of creation and destruction. I took the pencil drawing and I worked it, found things I didn't like, went back over them. So I've moved the boundaries of the face, right? The, the jawline in and out over the course of this painting. And that's something that definitely you should not be afraid to do. And in fact, I think it does lend some quality of painterliness to it if you <clears throat> can can blend it all in where I tried to leave those some of those extraneous brush strokes as just a looseness that that follows through the painting and I I think it works definitely have a critic but you gotta follow the passion follow that dopamine anyway hope you like this one the likeness is close Maybe you'll know who it is. Don't know. But hey, like, share, and subscribe. There's a lot more coming.